Hey everybody, thanks for watching my videos. Here, this is the building of a 1971 uh, Aquarius 21 footer that I completely turned it into a blue water cruiser. I talked to several blue water cruisers, micro cruisers, that went across the Pacific Ocean in their boats and they gave me advice. So first thing I did was thicken the hull. I made it double the thickness it was. There it is before and after, port and starboard side. Then I put water boxes in there so that if you got a hole in it, it wouldn't transfer over. This is the beginning of it. You can see there's just a few there. They're being tabbed to the hull, silicone in, not silicone, but resin in, tabbed with fiberglass, completely sealed so they can take water uh, for a long time. There's all the compartments. So I've made a bunch of small ones so that you can get hit by a spearfish, um, on the swordfish, and then it won't uh, sink your boat over a rock. There's the bow being tabbed in. That's before I cut in the hole for the anchor locker. Port side. Everything's being, uh, you notice the deck the hull joint that was sealed. Here I had to press the hull out a little bit and I put a little board on the top left side there, right by that hose to keep the spread apart. So no matter how much weight you put in this boat, it won't collapse the hull into the sole of the cockpit floor. Here's the ports, that would be the uh, starboard side looking stern. And then of course that was closed in with tabs too, which isn't in any of the pictures. Uh, there's the boat during the project. There's a Lumar windlass that I added with 5 16 chain, which is overkill, but it's nice to have. And of course, there's the compartments when they're being completed little by little. That door on the left can be ratcheted down closed solid with a ratchet strap. And a few slides here, I'll show you uh, how that works. I closed off all the extra holes in the hole on the top side with a fiberglass patch. That's what that is. I installed a big rail on the back that's bolted through with backing plates. So you can lean over the back of the boat, closed off all the extra holes for things that were back that just didn't need anymore. Basically, that's what that's all about. In this slide here, I installed a little cabinet on the starboard side. Uh, worked out great. You can see the tops right there. No cabinets on the port side. There's everything being painted. That door there that's wedged open, again, it can be closed and ratcheted closed. There's these, this here carpeting this is from Walmart. I just cut it to size and stitched the lip on it so it would work. And it's got foam, uh, styrofoam, closed cell styrofoam, a vacuum plate on it. I got from Taft's plastic. So there's no sweating or any moisture inside the boat. That's me working. There's my water dispenser. Works great, you lay it on the side or you can stand it up inside that box either way. There's an electrical panel. It's got full circuits. There's nothing in this boat, but I put it there with a solar panel. There's no pictures of the solar panel, but it has 100 watts of solar panel. You can swing the thing open to get the electrical panels. Right there on the left side, that little block with the two bolts on it, that's the backing plate for the D-ring that's on the other side. So basically, you take a big ratchet strap. You go from the front of the boat, which has another D-ring in there, to that ratchet strap, to that little D-ring on the back. You'll see it here in a moment. That ring right there. You ratchet strap the whole thing down, so if the boat flips over, Nothing goes flying around. Keeps you upright. It'll right itself. There's my headlight overhead. There's my 227 series batteries that are below. Ratchet strapped in, of course. They're just solid there also to the floor. There's a seat back. You can, kneel, you can kneel on top of it. I padded it so you can put your old knees on it. and It doesn't hurt your knees. There in, the, in the top, you can see the uh, anchor locker. That's a little bucket. There's a seat in the upright position. There's a handle above that so you can grab yourself to move around. There's an overview of what everything looks like pretty much in place when it's almost done. Here I'm doing the cushions on the back. Made them all so you can close off that entire back second and sleep section and sleep outside. That's what those little boards are, port and star outside, those wooden plastic boards. There's my Sailrite sewing machine. It's a great machine, works wonderful. There's a hatch I put in the bow because you want to be able to see forward and you want to also be able to see out the back. So that was one of the pieces of advice I was given so you can watch waves coming and going. So since there was a compass back there, that's where I put the window. Of course, when the door is swung closed, when it's swung open, it doesn't hit the compass. And when it's swung closed, you can look out the window. There's a view looking out the window right there. There's the chain plates. I just left those original, but moved them outboard, sealed off the holes. Here I am painting the boat. I used two part uh, Interlux paint. It worked great. Sanded it down with 180 to where it was nice and smooth. You can see the red stripe went away. And then wiped it down with acetone and sprayed it. I used a uh, cheap spray gun, one of those $20 ones with the gravity feed cup. 
worked great the boat comes up beautiful there it is in green and yellow white i did replace that windshield you can see it in a later video those doors there's no lee boards on this boat so you can't get lost they just swing down and swing open there's the back of it all painted up looks great i had two uh two backstays uh two standing rigging so there was no one wire failure on this boat here you are seeing the bottom being painted i painted it red originally then eventually i changed it to black that's a drop keel it's in a half up half down position you crank it up and down there's the boat on the trailer there's no spreaders at the mast it's like a hobby cats it's real strong there's cleats for the rigging for the for not the rigging the uh, sails up hauls there's my raymarine 2000 autopilot works very really nice there's all the rigging goes back as all all the ropes go to the back of the boat so you can raise and lower the sails on the back i eventually added a roller furling it's not in any of these pictures but that was added after the fact that's it mostly completed right there there it is in the water for some trials the sails aren't up yet and uh wanted to check the water line see where it's so to make to adjust the bootstrap if i had to there I am, happy. That's me and the fedora I had in the back and my buddies from work. We're all just going out there, farting around on the boat, giving her a shot. That's it. And the final tally for this whole mess, included everything I did later on, was $17,322.90. Way too much, but I got a Blue Water microcruiser. Don't know what to do with. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.